हेलो वेलकम टू द चैनल किड्स क्लब हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू न्यू वीडियो ऑफ किड्स क्लाउड इट इज अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एनिमल्स अराउंड द वर्ल्ड मिलियंस ऑफ वराइटीज ऑफ एनिमल्स आर प्रेजेंट मेनी एनिमल्स आर सिमिलर टू ईच अदर वाइल अदर्स आर एक्सट्रीमली डिफरेंट बेस ऑन द सिमिलैरिटीज द होल एनिमल किंगडम is divided into two main groups vertebrates and invertebrates animals with backbone comes under the group vertebrates while animals without backbone are classified as invertebrates what is this backbone backbone is column of bones which supports the body and protects the spinal cord In this video we will learn about vertebrates in more details. Vertebrates have backbone inside their body. This group is further divided into mammals, reptiles, amphibians, fish and birds. Let's learn about mammals. Main characteristics of these mammals are as follows Unlike other vertebrates mammals produce milk to feed their younger ones All have hair or fur on their body They have unique jaw structure means their lower jaw is hinged directly to the skull instead of through a separate bone as in all other vertebrates All mammals are warm-blooded animals. They range in size from tiny shrews or bats to the largest known whales. Most mammals are terrestrial, but few are partially or entirely aquatic. Mammals are classified as placental, marsupials, and monotremes. Placental mammals give birth to well developed young marsupials give birth to undeveloped young and nourish them in a pouch until they fully develop monotreme mammals lay soft shell eggs which hatch human kangaroo dolphin whale cat dog cow all these are the examples of mammals i am quite sure you will find plenty of such mammals in your surrounding so kids can you find out more mammals and differentiate them as placental marsupials and monotreme next group of vertebrates is reptile Reptiles are cold-blooded animals. Some reptiles are herbivorous, while most of them feed on other organisms. Reptiles are covered with epidermal hard and dry scales all over their body. They lay eggs which are relatively larger in size and hard-shelled. Reptiles move by creeping and swimming. Four groups of reptiles are testudians, squamata, crocodilia, and spinodontia. Animals comes under these respective groups are written in the bracket. Here are some familiar examples of reptiles. These includes snake lizard turtle crocodile fishes are the third group of vertebrates they lives in water unlike other animals they use gills to breathe under water they have streamlined body 
which helps them to move through the water quickly. Fishes range in length from less than 10 mm to more than 20 meters. Their weight ranges from about 1.5 grams to thousands of kilograms. Most fishes lay a large number of small eggs that are fertilized and scattered outside of the body. Many fishes lay eggs on the bottom or among plants. Depending upon habitats and characteristics, fishes are classified as Agnatha, Conreactis and Osteactis. There are plenty of examples of fishes, shark, goldfish, tuna, starfish are few of them. Amphibian word is derived from the Greek amphibians meaning living a double life. These vertebrates lives on land and water. These are cold blooded animals. Amphibians breathe through skin and they go through metamorphosis. Amphibians start their life with gills like fish and later develop lungs for breathing. Amphibians are divided into three main orders Anura, Caudata and Gymnophiona. Frog, Salamander, Toad are well known amphibians. Fifth group of vertebrate is birds. Unique feature of birds which differentiate them from other vertebrate is presence of feathers. These are warm blooded animals and their characteristics are more closer to reptiles. Birds have four chambered heart. Four limbs of birds are modified into wings. They lay eggs which are hard shelled. Neen vision is another characteristic of birds. Classification of bird is little different from other vertebrates. It is done by grouping the birds that have same characteristic and behavior. Some of the examples of birds are owl, flamingo, penguin, woodpecker, sparrow. This is all about vertebrates. For invertebrates, please watch our next video. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe to this channel.